We all get spots, they're completely normal. To show where they come from, I've got a fancy bit of kit. This is a dermatoscope. Fancy. It's something used by skin specialists, dermatologists, to have a closer look at skin. So I'm gonna put it on my skin here, and you can see on my chin there are very big hairs coming out of small holes. Those holes are called pores. But if we go up onto my nose, there are lots of holes or pores here, and the hairs coming out of them are really small. The pore is the entrance to the hair follicle where hairs are made, but it's also the entrance to the sebaceous gland. It produces sebum, an oily, waxy substance that moisturizes and protects your skin. Unfortunately, the sebaceous gland is also where spots are made. But did you know there are two types of spots? Come out of the cupboard, Zand. We're going to make them using potatoes. You are going to be making a white head like the one on your face. And I am going to be making a black head like the ones on my nose. Yeah, did you spot them? Those black dots in my paws are blackheads on my nose. Fantastic! Potato Zand is going to represent a mixture of sebum and skin cells. Why am I grating mine underwater? Because whiteheads have a layer of skin sealing in the sebum, the skin cells, usually a few bacteria, and sometimes a little bit of pus too. Grating your whitehead potato underwater seals it away from the air, just like the layer of skin would. Blackheads are open to the air, which is why I'm grating mine in the air. And we may see that the air does the same thing to my potato as it does to the skin cells and sebum in a blackhead. There we go. Now, finished. I'm putting my potato into a little dish representing a paw, open to the air like a blackhead. Nazant, wrap your potato, which has been underwater the whole time, in eco-friendly cling film. This is like the layer of skin over a whitehead spot. We need to leave these for two hours. What happens? Wow, no prizes for guessing which spot is which. Potato in mine has oxidized with the oxygen in the air and turned black just like the melanin in a real blackhead. Whereas the skin covering over my potato has stopped it oxidizing and so it's still white, a bit like my whitehead. I tell you what, Chris, I want to get under the skin of a spot and find out what's going on inside. I think we're going to make a spot Kano! To the cupboard of everything. I have the spot Kano ingredients. <laughs> well, there we go, Zond. All the ingredients we need for a spot Kano. You need to ascend to the elevated sebum dispensing area. What, you mean climb that ladder? Exactly. Remember, sebum is the oily substance secreted by the sebaceous gland next to your pores and hair, and it keeps your skin and hairs waterproof. Now it's time to get the sebum into that pore. Here we go. We need some bacteria, send it up. Now sometimes bacteria can get into the sebum in your pores, and they start to multiply, and that is the beginning of an infected spot. That's good. Oh. Yes! I got splattered, Zand! Brilliant! These are dead skin cells, and they mix with the sebum and block the pore. This spot cano is just like a spot. This is really what happens. Some of the flakes of dead skin are just flaking away, but some of the flakes get trapped and they block the pores. The bacteria are multiplying. The sebum is still being produced. Pressure's going up. Chris, I think it's about to blow. Spontano! Three, two, one. shown you there are two types of spot. They appear when your pores become clogged with dead skin cells resulting in a whitehead, or if the dead skin cells are exposed to oxygen, a blackhead. And as we saw, the inside of a spot is the perfect place for bacteria to multiply, leading to it getting infected and filled with pus. But spots are normal. We all get them. And tempting as it is, try not to squeeze them. 